These things aren't flowers. They're weeds. Pesky, pesky weeds. They just keep spreading and spreading and spreading. I must get rid of them all. All the weeds must go. <laughs> hello, hello everybody. Krillik here, and this is another episode of Krillik Please Feed the Beast on my little one-man server here. And, uh, yeah, lots going on. Uh, this is the finished product of the rubber farm. By the way, I hope you liked my intro. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so this is the final thing of the rubber tree. It's solid, the whole platform. The only problem with it is, I already have 2,800 sticky resin. <laughs> it's a good problem to have, right? Mm. Um, but it's pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. So right now I actually have it turned off. So you can see it has that no farmland signal basically says that you need to complete the farm because this disables all of these blocks. Pretty cool. And it works really well with a rubber farm because yes, there is a point that you can get too much rubber. Okay. Uh, next thing I did is I ran over my ME system and I hooked up the wireless access point with my 16 boosters in there. And I plugged it in to the system here. So this one here is an export bus to fill it with fertilizer, like so, and it fill, keeps it at 64. Excellent. The other thing that I did is I made it so that it knows how to craft fertilizer. Okay. Uh, this guy here takes out the sticky resin, and it works fantastically, as you can tell. Pretty straightforward, nothing too serious there. Uh, then I have it running over here. Now, I don't know if you guys remember last episode, but there was a whole mess here of basically build craft meets Zycraft meets God knows what else craft. <laughs> uh, red power, a little bit of thermal expansion. Well, I got it rid of it all. Okay, so we just have the line coming up and over. And the same kind of thing. The export bus has fertilizer and bog earth. So it's keeping this bog earth nice and full at all times. And the import bus here takes out the dirt and the peat. Okay. Um, down on this Zycraft fabricator, I have the bog earth recipe and a water bucket. So if I flip this lever, you will see that it made bog earth. But where is it getting the resources from? Well, this is that uh, deployer setup that I explained in my last video. You'll see the bucket come back through here right now. And goes back into the fabricator. Okay. Now, every time I have it disabled at the moment to auto high, basically because I have a decent amount of bog earth. 400 and some. Not bad. That's pretty good. Let's turn it on for a little bit. And basically what it's doing is every time it gets a new water bucket, this ME interface, I set it to four sand and four dirt. Four sand, four dirt. Okay. It automatically keeps this amount in its inventory. The fabricator can use adjacent inventories to craft its item. So when the bucket comes in, it takes the four sand and the four dirt and the water bucket and crafts the item. And it's so fast you can't even see it. Boom. Just like that. And this guy here, just another import bus taking the bog earth and importing it into the ME system. So as you can see here, we have a little bit more. Fantastic. This is working magnificently, and it's time to move on to some additional farms. Farming in the nighttime. Now, with these additional farms, 
we're also going to get into we are going to get into bees right away so I'm just kind of prepping all that as well alrighty so what should we do next arboreal plants or crops well I would like to set up the crops one the problem is I really don't like where this peat one is right now. It's really in my way. Um, but I don't think another one would fit behind this rubber anyways. So let's... Let's do the arboreal plants. Alrighty. Okay, so let's map this thing out. Now, how far apart do we want these to be? One, two, three, four... Five should do, I would think. And since how this is the middle of that one, we can go off this as being the middle. And I'm just actually going to use stone bricks. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five as a walkway. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Three, four, five. Okay. Just take out this section, then we can go from there. It makes it so much easier, trust me. Okay, and you've already seen me do this, so... I'm going to get to the part that's a little different. So, let me be right back. Alrighty, so I got the whole thing made, uh, just like before. As you can see, it says no fertilizer. That's all right. We're going to fix that up right now. I need one import bus. One export bus. Perfect. Now, always remember, I usually tend to get these backwards. But import means it is being imported into the system. <laughs> export into the ME system, I should say. Export means it is coming out of the ME system. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's get the cable here. So the import goes on the bottom, and the export goes on the side. So the export's going to be doing fertilizer, add a stack, and or, oh yeah derp as soon as I connect this let me just throw in what I have here the 32 and you should see 64 excellent okay so now it is doing something what exactly well the good thing about this is we are doing a number or arboreal and it's a managed farm so you lay out the stone bricks and it'll automatically lay the dirt for you kind of a little bonus nothing too special but it's kind of handy to have and as you can see it's kind of turning it into this hummus is basically what that stuff's called and this will require dirt okay well let's let's do that up Oh, no, I can't go there. Right there works for quick entry. So not only do I need fertilizer, but I also need, where is it here? Dirt. Just like the peat farm. And there you go. You see it adding it in like so. Excellent. Now we're full on water. We have fertilizer coming in at all times. Well, now we need saplings, don't we? So, I have a whole bunch of these apple oak guys. And I guess let's start by... I want to see if this works. I've not tried this. Does this add them? Oh, it's very smart. Excellent. Okay, and you can hear it planting. Or at least I hope you can. Yeah, see it's planting them down. Stacks upon stacks of them. 
going to have so much I won't know what to do with. Okay. Excellent. So that is pumping in just a ton of saplings. Program your farms. Yeah, I knew that. Jeez. Why you be so silly? Okay. We are working good. It's filling up. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sound, isn't it? When you know things are working. Clean up the inventory a little bit. Now this one here, the import. Well, we are going to want oak wood, apples, and these saplings. Ooh, it plants a lot of saplings. Holy cow. So, oak wood, apple, saplings. And then we're going to have to get to a use of those right away. Because I have a feeling it's going to be bad news in no time. Look at it. It's already going. Let's put lace down a couple torches here. The cool thing about this farm compared to that one, I mean, those are grown in. I filled it in with leaves. I love it. But this one, it chops them down. And it chops them down fast. You'll see it here. And then we'll check on our power usage. These things shouldn't take too, too much power, but it's always better to keep an eye on your power. I do have a quarry running and a very massive, massive ME system. So there it goes. So the ME system, 263 units per tick, 600 cable. Holy. But it seems to be powered, which is good. Let's go check down in our power room. Are any of these redstone energy cells depleting? It does not appear to be the case. This guy's flickering in between. Now that's a really good sign, because I have a quarry going right now. I have the ME system going. Um, yeah. And uh, three farms now. So, I'm really glad to see that. We, uh, ran out of coal for a bit here. So I want to make sure that we get that going again can't have those steam engines go down on us. Okay. Now, if we do get too much wood again, we can just simply tur turn it off. Oh, it also makes sand. Okay. Let's do that then. Oop. I knew it made something else. And sand. Okay. So now it should be pulling all those things out. No problem. Excellent. Now, I the stack mode on an import bus in 1.47 here on the Direwolf pack anyways, does not pull out in stacks. It'll pull out single items because that's all the hatch will release at one time. So if it, it does pull decently slowly. Uh, too close. There we go. Now, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but if you look down at my aura meter there, in the bottom left, 1,224. Yes, sirree. Cerulean Sin, my buddy, has been doing tons of work. Uh, I just briefly mentioned it, and he kind of offered and jumped at it. And he has gotten me a over 1,000 pure node in this area. Now, I don't have my Thumbcraft goggles anymore, but if I were to make some, we could see it. Let's see. What is the recipe? Let's get out my Thumbonomicon. Let's make some goggles. So two thumb thermometers, which is eight gold and water crystals. 
Oh, we can make that no problem. Okay, gold. Water. Leather. Okay, let's make this quick. Uh, like so, and like so. That goes like so, and like so, I believe. Oh, I don't have mutatio or vism. Correction, I do. That'll work. And mutatio is nether wart. And how much is it? One, one, one. Okay. So let's just pull out this wand here. I'm just actually gonna dump it into out into my jars there. Ow. Like so. And hopefully that guy filled up the items a little bit more. Well, why isn't he filling up all the other stuff? Are they all full? I doubt it. Let's see. Okay. Can't you look at all the ignis I have? So that was probably full. I completely believe that. But I don't believe that the mutatio... Oh, I know what it is. Ha ha ha. Forgot I took up some jars. I picked up some jars so that my guy wouldn't uh, fill them all up with ignis. Okay, now this one will be the mushroom. Oh, one more click. There we go. Okay. Mutatio. Is that not enough? It should be. Why is that not accepting it? Oh, there we go. And the vism. Vism. Where did that vism go to? Is it just me or did my vism disappear? You know, this was supposed to be easy. But apparently it's not. So, <laughs> let's just get some more carrots, I guess. I only need four or something. I don't know. Don't know what happened to her. Honestly. Oh, wait, you're the fire guy, aren't you? Come here. Get out of my house. Okay. Now we have her. Goggles. Excellent. Maybe I didn't have enough vism. Okay. Don't know where it all went to. Mutation. Could have sworn I had Vism, but maybe not. Maybe not indeed. Okay, so. I don't see it in here. Anyways. So we have the goggles on now. And voila, look at that monster. That is a pure node. Or is it? Maybe it's not. Either way, monster. Look at all that aura. Thought I'd show that to you guys. And a special thanks goes to him for making it for me. It's quite a nice thing to do. Indeed. Okay, 
so a couple other things that I've done I set these up on a storage bus you can see the ME system coming all the way out here so meat for days that's why you see it in here 65k and a little bit more than that to be honest um, let's see what else Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to fill up on wood in no time. Got wood. <laughs> hey. I don't want you. Okay. That looks good. Now I'm thinking we can do some sort of a pathway in, in between here. I think that would look sharp. And let's set up... I'm going to set up another farm. With some more stuff yes sir more stuff but it's going to be a little closer to over here and you'll see why as soon as I do it oh, well wow, that wireless booster works quite well you'll see why because we're, it's going to be producing something that we're going to need for them so here goes nothing be right back Alrighty, so I've set up the farm here. Ooh, that's a bad place. Oh no, how am I going to get up? I'm trapped forever. Not quite. Okay, so this is a crop. Oops, there we go. Crop farm. And I think I've set up everything except for let's see. So import seeds as well. Is that working? There we go, there they are. Excellent. So that'll start planting them. Now this thing I think is gonna require a lot of water. Yeah. Yeah, quite a bit of water, but that's okay. We're getting there. The Oculus accumulator that I set up over here is doing work. And then I think it just gets outputs wheat, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll just do this for now. And if it does output something else, well, we'll address it at that time. Portable hole is fantastic because you can do stuff like that. Okay. So the automatic farm setup. It's not the most efficient setup, I must say, but it'll work. It'll do the job. No problem. Ooh, a couple of wisps spawning out there, eh? Hey? Must be messing with the V in that area. So, as it uh, becomes hydrated, it plants the seeds. And then we'll just kind of wait for them to grow and see what comes of it. I can't remember if it harvests the dirt or not. But, there we go. Crop. Farm. It'll obviously do the seeds. That's, that's one thing. So, actually, let's go set that up right now. And... I don't know where it is. I better get out of there. I'm going to suffocate if I do that. Okay. I really got to get up. Oh no, oh no. Whew. Close one. We'll do that. And just clear this out a little bit. Just in case. So, I also want to get seeds from it. Nope, not there. There. Perfect. Okay, so this bad boy should be working. Working to a T. No, we just gotta wait for some wheat to grow. No big deal. Well, we've gotten the uh, tree farm and a wheat farm going 
And in case you guys didn't know, the seeds are going to be the most useful part. I actually don't even want the wheat, but it is what it is. Let's make another wireless adapter. And let's make some more boosters. Boosters. Like so. And we'll jump on down. There it is. And just attach it to the system here. Like so. And boost it up. Excellent. So now we should have boosted wireless signal wherever we want in this area. Which is just brilliant. Love this system that I'm coming up with, guys. This ME Applied Energistic System is just beyond awesome. So, pretty good wheat farm. Uh, we might need a second. I don't know yet, though. Not too sure. How many trees have we gotten? Ooh, 14,000 oak at the moment. That's quite a bit. I wonder how many apples. Ooh, 1,700 apples. I think I had a decent amount to begin with, though, so... I doubt that that's exactly correct. Voila. Well, I think that's going to about do it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll automate up some wheat stuff over here next time. And I'll get some of the materials going for that. And, yeah. Let's actually just go quickly check on my quarry. Oh good, it's daytime. It's like never daytime in this world. Oh, it's becoming night though. So, with the quarry set up lately, I've been filtering out the cobble. Because I really don't need more than 250,000 cobble. And I've also been filtering out Nicolite and Quartz and Alumanite. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we're coming along quite nicely. Apparently I overshot this wall by one, but that's okay. Ooh, some slimers. Maybe we should get a slime farm out here. <laughs> Maybe. Alright guys, and gals, because there's definitely some gals. So, uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next time for another video by me. Ha ha ha. Funny how that works, eh? See ya.